everyone, this is Waldor. This is Stefan. And now we have Battle Report 223. 223. Orcs and Goblins versus the Undying Dynasties. Huzzah hobbies. Yep. This is one that kind of skipped in the order of things because I kind of misplaced it. The pictures for it. Ah. But it was a fun game and I wanted to I see. get it out there. You lost them. They What's your, that? They were in your back pocket. The pictures. Well, the uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> little My little SD card showed up in my... Uh, pants pocket in my dryer after I washed my pants. Oh, it still worked. And it's this is like the third time that's been washed. Apparently that's a good thing. That's you can pretty, wash these to keep them that, clean. That's amazing because I just uh, washed my uh, I, laser pointer and it doesn't work anymore. Mm, even with new batteries. It's got a battery in it. So even I'm the sure batteries, that would be even bad. with a new battery, it just messed something up. Did it? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so uh, Battle Report 223. So, so our lessons to our view, to our viewers is you're allowed to wash your SD card, but you're not, not allowed to wash your laser don't pointer. Don't wash laser pointers. Yeah. Was it a pointer or the line one? It was the pointer one. So. Okay, yeah, that one's useless anyway. It depends what you're playing with it. I'm still, it's useless. It's good for shooting people in the eye. It is. <laughs> Annoying people. Uh, so here's my list. Same list I've been using. <clears throat> Nothing changed because this is back before the tournament. This is... Depending on what order this is, this one and the five from the uh, Battle Cry tournament are the last ones you'll see from this list, I think. Okay. Things are changing. I guess we'll find out when we see the next one. Things are a changing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, he has a Hierarch who's a wizard, who's a master of divination, and he's got the Sacred Hourglass, there's a Shocker, and the Soul Conduit. <laughs> uh, another wizard, the Adept with, of Evocation. It's a Hierophant Book of Arcane Power, a pair of architects, one of them is his general, and a nomark on a chariot with shield, heavy armor, and a bow, which makes the chariots better. Yes. Uh, which he has seven light chariots. These chariots are actually fantastic. Um, they get a ton of strength four attacks. Yeah, they are strength four, though. Yeah, well, I would expect the skeletons and horses, skeletons mm -hmm. on them to be strength three. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, considering you get four attacks from riders, two from the horse. Right. Even after they're not on charge. I mean, this is in standard combat. Anyway, whatever. Uh, they have a standard. They have the Aether Icon. He has five Skeletal Scouts, which I thought seemed very low at first, but then later on I found out why. <laughs> uh, 21 Skeletons with Champ and a Musician. 20 Skeletons with uh, Standard and the Banner of the Entombed. Oh, okay. Uh, two units of six tomb cataphracts with musicians, mm -hmm. two tomb scorpions, and seven shabtis. Okay. The two tomb scorpions are the other rest of his chaff. They come anywhere on the board he wants. Yep, I love those. So they're fantastic chaff. I don't see them quite often. I always wondered why. Yeah, um, I think they're making a showing now. Okay. And then the unit, his idea with the unit, of course, is it shows up on turn two or later. And as long as it's there by turn four which is three rolls, it counts as scoring. Right. So it can pop up and grab an objective. And be away from the action. Correct. Yeah. Which is a very handy thing. It's very nice. And he's, you know, Phil's a good player. He knows how mm -hmm. to use this, and he uses it to his advantage all the time. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, so. Why well, well, you just complimented somebody? Uh, yeah, and unfortunately, it, <laughs> it was Phil. <laughs> I think I think he's going to be uh, taping this and having it on his iPhone every time <laughs> he goes to an event he's going to play this back yeah yeah <laughs> maybe true all right so um we used um ended up with frontline clash and secure target and if i'm not mistaken this is one from the map pack i've started using map pack okay um maps okay to play games with. but no wagons no 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 none, none <laughs> of the special terrain okay um so uh, so I want to know why one of you's got desert bases, the other one's got like dirt bases, and you're playing in a grassy field with rocks. He brings desert with him. Yeah. How about you? What? On my team? Oh, well, <laughs> we'll, we'll discuss that later. <laughs> uh, so uh, there's a hill up here on the top left, a okay. uh, woods, a uh, ruin, mm -hmm. uh, field down here in the bottom corner, okay. and uh, two fences across the middle, <sighs> and a building. <laughs> Random fences. And... Yeah, well. Um, this, I believe, is... Uh, let's go ahead and move on. So, uh, that was after... Uh, whatever. One? The Vanguards. This yeah. is round one. 
because I didn't, I decided there's nothing to chaff early, so I decided to keep my chaff behind mm -hmm. me and try to keep it somewhat alive. Okay. Um, which I know is very odd for me. Yes. So, you know, don't be too shocked. So um, off on the left, you can see me pushing forward towards the objective because uh, we're playing secure target. And there's one there and one on the bottom right, which is not which off the screen. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm pushing forward here, just staying out of range of this stuff. Move forward across the center. Okay. A bit. Um, I assume this is after the magic face. There's the other one. And this is after even the magic face, because <laughs> yeah. you can tell I put... Yes. I put... A little critter. Uh, yes. I made sure to circle him. Yeah. Uh, the Totemic I saw, Summon... I saw him in the previous photo, oh, too, you? so yeah. Okay. So the Totemic <laughs> Summon showed up in the magic phase, managed mm -hmm. to get it, and with the remaining die, I cast a plus one toughness on this unit in case he decides to shoot at it. Okay. I'm not... The Shopty in front of you, okay? Yeah, not a, because those are both Shopty. Yeah, um, not a big deal because whatever I put that on, I'll he'll he'll buff he'll shoot at the other. Right, right. So it really doesn't matter. Except. But you'd prefer to keep that thing intact. Yeah, these cost more than these guys, and they're your main units. And that's what these guys are here to manage. And, and this is why you don't build fences in the middle of nowhere for no purpose. Because people step on people them. just knock them down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so his turn one, he's got no one in position, so he has to try to deal with him. The Totemic Summons. Mm -hmm. So his unit pivots a bit or reforms and moves a bit. And his character leaves and faces my across the unit at me. Okay. Um, but that means he's not casting spells at my line. Right. He's wasting his turn having to deal with him. Yep. Which is perfect. I love this spell. I'm still shocked that they haven't gotten rid of it. <laughs> it's not even rated the best spell in the path. Yeah, I know. I mean, they still the break the spirit is still so good. It is, but uh, it overshadows this one. How good this one! I think is this as well. one is actually better because it. They're both really. If good. you can get them off, it really is messes people up. It can, especially if they have like a slow moving wizard bunker. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. against some armies where they're moving forward. Yeah, faster they don't really attack armies don't care as much, but yeah. Yeah, even so, you do the big version; they can pop up and mess with people if they're yep. near the flanks. Yeah. Um, anyway. So he has to pop out and deal with him. Okay. Um, other than that, you can see he just repositions stuff a bit. He okay. actually backs up some. Okay, so he's going defensive. Um, yep, he went defensive. Using his shooting advantage? Yeah, and you'll see on occasion, you'll see these dice with fives on them. Uh -huh. These are the units he's putting the regen on, okay. the five-up regen okay. from his two architects. Okay. Yeah, that's, that architect ability is not bad enough. You can have it multiple times. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so anyway, I'm not sure what that five was for, but that's his <laughs> yeah. token marker. So he does that. Um, during his uh, magic phase, of course, he gets enough spells off that he's going to kill my guy. Okay. I'm okay with he wants to use a magic phase to, you know. Yeah, that's... It's what he's there for. It's, it's like an uber dispel. <laughs> he's got to <laughs> do something. So moving on to turn two. Um, turn two, the boar riders come up out of his arc. Mm -hmm. Um... Again, he's not concerned because he's got a unit of skeletal warriors and a, two scorpions that right. can come up anywhere they want eventually. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he, he took, spider, spider eats this, eats some hedge. The spider came up and took a position behind the hedge, mm -hmm. um, which is funny because he does get the distracting on the first round of combat. He does not get the minus to be shot at. Right. Um, so... With that, I'm okay. If he wants to charge me there, I'm okay with that. Um, the the bow shabdi took long range shots and killed a wolf rider okay. last turn, um, but not you know you can see nothing significant mm -hmm. to him. The um, yeah, when you're hitting always, no matter what, at the same. Yeah, but he's hitting on five, so yeah. it's it's tough. No, I'm saying, but when it's, you're always but hitting right. at the same, you Correct. might as well go for the best target. Yes, <laughs> um, but anyway, so. So this turn, I'm trying to trying to keep him a little bit safe by positioning him here behind the right. trolls, and the general mm -hmm. has shifted over to join the trolls. Okay. For the kind of the same reason I normally do it, shifting characters is so I have multiple characters can charge. Right. This way, um, but anyway, and both units of uh, Nashers come forward and easy charge reigns of this serpent unit, but. If he wants to come at me, he's going to go. He has to kind of go all in into the ruins, right? And I'm hoping that'll wreck him. I'm trying to get the, of course, the break the spirit on that unit, mm -hmm. but he's probably not. He's probably not going to try to allow that to go through. 
Um, you can see the Ferals have come forward because they don't really care. Right. They made sure this game to keep them in the front. Yeah. Um, but they're moving forward. And there's a better picture of that. Everything. Uh, trampling down the fence. I guess I should have cleaned up a couple of those of the same thing. Because then he were going to go to his turn. His turn, he, there you go. I've got real clean pictures, multiple yeah. pictures of everything, and one bad one of this. <laughs> yeah. So on his turn, he does decide to charge down the hill into my spider. Um, I'm, I'm distracting behind this wall, so I'm mm -hmm. actually okay with this. Um, just to point out, there was the um, unit of Entombed came up. Oh, entombed okay. Warriors came the up. The Warriors, okay. Um, over here, he charged in and lost one on the way in. Okay. Um, I was actually hoping for more, but I'll take what I can get. I mean, it was 12 failing on ones and twos. I guess that's about right. Because mm -hmm. he should have taken, what, four? And then regened at least one of them. Right. So, yeah, it's probably about average. Still hoping for more, better, but... Um, and he brings up a scorpion. It's a little teeny scorpion, but he brings up yes. a scorpion. It's got a lot of skulls. Which is enough to prevent me from wheeling into his flank. Okay. Um, and that was the only thing that came up this turn. These guys popped up as I mean, those guys pop up. The second scorpion has not shown up yet. It's actually an advantage for him to not get them both on the first turn, to get them all in the, you know, to second have turn. one show up later. Right. You're right. Second turn. Um, anyway, so these guys come in. And during his magic phase, you can see there it comes. It doesn't matter because the one came back. He buffs mm -hmm. these unit up and raises back the missing uh, cataphract. Okay. Um, he shoots again at these guys, at the wolf riders, and managed to kill two more. But with the general and BSB around, they pass their check. What, what child? The chariots. Oh, okay. This time. The chariots actually they can see past shoot the, over. Uh... I think the chariots are large. Oh, are they really? I could be wrong. Mm, okay. Pretty sure they're large, and that's how he did it. Mm. Not 100% sure. Um, other than that, because I don't know what else could have shot him there unless it was a magic missile, maybe. Yeah. Which is possible as well. Um, anyway, moving on. We may have, like, a, the camera might be at a slight angle and he had, like, one guy they could see. Yeah, but they don't, do they have volley? Like a bow. Ah, that could be yeah. it. That could have been it as well. Yeah. Anyway, one way or another, he killed two of them. Mm, okay. Um, over here, um... Wiped He's him out. wiped me out, overruns in the second batch, um, lost a total of one right. cataphract between the dangerous comp. terrain and... Yeah, totally oh, no, he's got that... We have the dangerous terrain in my attacks. Yeah. Killed a total of one. Okay. Um, so anyway, so he's there. And we're going to move on to turn three. Okay. Turn three. Um, and, yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't show the results of this. Yeah. Results of this was I did... Nine looks like ten wounds to him. And he did, he did four, four to me. Oh wow! Okay. Um, so I'm kind of happy with that result. Mm -hmm. um, and again, now it's my turn. Okay. So my turn. What do we got? So my turn. I'm going to declare charges. The ferals have to go kill the yeah. stupid scorpion in front of them. The <laughs> the Trolls decide not to Help that hurl out. themselves into this um, simply because my general is going to be stuck, would be stuck in that combat, mm -hmm. hanging off the side, no way to get into the fight until these guys die. Because I can't make way on not equal bases, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's only a, it's only needs a six with the war cry. So if you're going to do it, they're going to declare a charge back here into the chariots. Which will get me behind his line, and okay. I think I crush those chariots. Now, so you have to charge with what? If you charge the uh, the cataphracts, and you have two guys in contact. Correct. You can't make way to the other side because you still have two guys in contact. I don't think you can make way unless you're matching base sizes. I think mm -hmm. you lose that ability by putting. Uh, them I know mismatch. you can't go in the middle of the unit. I didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty but, sure you lose that ability. Going. Okay, but I'll I, I'll verify it. But I'm I didn't look it up at the time. But I'm I just somehow remember that. Mm, anyway, okay. 
So they're going to charge back here. And besides, mm -hmm. I think this is a better, it's a better target, target anyway. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so they're going to charge back here. Um, there we go. And the, of course, the boar riders have to come clean this unit up mm -hmm. to get it out of my way so it doesn't yep. bug me for the rest of this game. And I decide to come in with my spider who did eight wounds last turn. Mm -hmm. um, actually, nine, ten wounds last right. time is what he did. So I've decided to come in and help him with these in the flank and push him over the edge. Right. And besides, every attack, if he directs out here, is one less right. on the spider, spider alive. to yeah. keep the spider going. Mm -hmm. So, um, and of course, they make it because I think that was auto in. Looked like it. Um, so there you go. So the trolls make it in, the general into this unit. Okay. Uh, and the wow. Everybody. That looks that unit looks a lot more impressive. What's the chariot unit when seen lined up against the large troll unit yeah. yes it <laughs> yeah. does <laughs> well, that's some footprint it's a big footprint yeah wow um so uh da, 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 da. oh the boar riders back here that are near the token just doing mm -hmm. about face they okay. do not have musicians i'm still running champions on them at this point so oh, they okay. just pivot and face this unit because the way i see this going no matter what I, I, the way i see it going is we beat i beat this unit Right. This unit can maybe over... I, then I'll have to decide whether I want to take a chance on overrunning getting out here. Mm -hmm. But one way or another, I want to be set up to deal with this unit. Right. Or I just about face and face it. Let him charge right. me and hit him in the, both sides. And, yeah, or, run, or about face and run away or whatever. When yeah. He charged you, whatever. So, but anyway, that's the idea there. Um, wolf Riders make their march test and come up here and just sit alongside the snake unit. Okay. Uh, um, which is... Stops him from... Uh, Stops him from being and messes with his his reform. His reform, I which guess is, is what I'm looking at. Since mm -hmm. it's my turn, mm -hmm. if he reforms, he cannot charge. Right. If all he can do is pivot, and by being on both sides of him like this, I'm going to stop him from pivoting. Right. So he's going to be able to go straight back or straight forward after this fight. I'm sorry, you're going to stop him from pivoting because of what? I I. He can't pivot much, but I'm an inch away from him here, an inch away from him here. Yeah. So his pivoting can't get closer to this unit or this unit. Oh, correct. After after the post combat pivot. Right, and he's what, uh, 150 wide, but oh, 200 but deep. He's deeper, correct. Yeah, yeah. So okay. he can't, and then if he reforms, he can't charge. Correct, the correct, turn. correct, right. I understand. Okay, that's, so, that's a good move. Yeah. Okay. So pinning him that way. Right, right. And if he just does something like reform and doesn't overrun here. Yeah. These guys are also protected from right, the shop, right. bow shop tees. Right, right, right. Okay, so, so some railroading. That's a nice little yeah. tactic. Thing. I've been doing that a couple times with mm -hmm. these, if you've noticed lately. Yeah. It's actually helped me out a lot. Um, so then I buff, you know, buff this up because I want to do some damage to this unit. Because, um, you know, this fight I've got. So let's do, this, do some damage here. So I give them dangerous terrain. You know, the break the spirit. Right. And re-roll a hit against them. Okay. The cataphract. So I'm hoping to really put some serious hurting on them. Mm -hmm. uh, and there we go. And those guys are back there. And you formed a conga line with your wolf riders on their back? They did because they wanted to try to get forward, but something prevented them. What was the problem with them? Oh, they couldn't... Yeah. Anyway. For whatever reason, I think they were here and they failed their... They were within eight. They failed their march test. So mm -hmm. I think all they could do was this. Okay. To get us to get where I need it because I want to get them out here, but I can't get there yet. Anyway. Okay. Um, so, that. so when the combat goes, oh, if, despite <laughs> being buffed, he just hammers me because he's buffed as well. Mm -hmm. But he just hammers me, yeah, and kills him without anything. Of course, the uh, ferals smash the um, tomb scorpion and they overrun, and they needed like a. I think they need an 11 to get to the bow shop and they so, got a 10. So you missed it by that much. Yeah, I missed it by an inch. I remember that. Um, like I said, he did that and he elected to stand where he was okay. before I finished the scorpion fight. Because um, he could have done some weird stuff and I wanted to be able to react to him. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Killed off this chaff in the middle. And then his extreme disappointment is this fight, the troll fight. Wow. I killed, I did Too six, serious? maybe seven wounds, whatever this marker is on mm -hmm. him. I mean, at most I did eight, uh, six, seven, eight wounds through with the trolls. The trolls, of course, are going last. Yeah. But even so, that's 15 strength five troll attacks. 
and the general with his five string five and a string six and another string five from the boar and battle focus and everything he's carrying right smashing into these and that's all i did mm. i is extremely upset with the dice on that one okay terrible anyway and then over here and your cavalry can't really help out because they can't get around the trolls correct and over here on the second round of combat oh <laughs> he puts the additional four wounds less attacks Puts the additional four wounds to kill the spider and kills a boar rider as, and, to boot and not only kills the spider but chases the, the boar riders away and takes maybe one or two wounds. Yeah, and turns the face. This was kind of a disaster. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, so I'm not real thrilled with what's happening over here. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not thrilled with happening over here because now he pivots... And he's free to charge either one of these units in the flank. Yep. I would have bet the farm that he was at worst tied down. Right. You know, I expected to hammer him. But anyway, whatever. So it happens. So there's where we sit. Overall scene going into his next turn. Uh, next turn, he declares a charge into my general and trolls. Um, over here, he just reforms and moves with his snakes. Mm -hmm. um, pops in behind me. Now oh, that always face that way. Okay. Yeah, face it. And now he also figures out he can reform the. They have a musician, so he can reform the bow shabti into a two wide line the column, yeah. and mm -hmm. move six and get out of my arc. Yeah, yeah. Which he does. Mm -hmm. um, so he's out of my arc. These guys are lurking behind me. Uh, worried about not knowing how this is going to turn the troll fight's going to turn out and worried about this unit taking a long charge into his bunker uh, his architect moves forward okay. one of his architects march forward and becomes chaff okay um, so and of course the snakes, and they made that charge the snakes of course made it into my flank um, over here <laughs> tomb scorpion shows up in front of the boar riders to keep them tied up and that's what it looks like. So, and I believe, I don't yeah, see it, like but they, I believe they the, advanced farther away from you. What's that? Those skeletons that were there, they didn't turn around. They, I think they, they don't have a musician. So right. I think they just turned they around advanced. and turned back towards me, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. I don't seem to have a picture of them. Okay. And then, of course, during, back up, during his magic phase, the three that charged me in the flank become four because he raised, yep. raises one. Um, and there we go. So we fight around to combat and did we fight around to combat yet? Yeah. I think he just marched away from you because he's no, he did facing just move away, away from, from me from for it, some yeah. reason. Not sure why. Um, and my, sorry, back to this combat. So he charged me in the flank. Um, but we, this time got a round, decent round because all the trolls put their attacks forward. And actually peel off a couple chariots again. Okay. Uh, the general put his attacks, I believe, to the side and f and fluffed it. Okay. Um, so He's therefore, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't do but a wound or two to these guys, to the he, snakes. And he reformed. But I did. He didn't do a, as you can see. He did not do a lot of wounds to me. Yep. And I was able to stand. Okay. Because it's the general's leadership with BSB nearby. And yep. He didn't do a ton to me. Okay. I think I outwounded him surprisingly. So moving on to turn four. So turn four, the um, board boy unit's going to charge into yep. this. They're too far back. I can't pivot past them. Yep. I just clipped this guy when I try to do a straight pivot. Mm -hmm. So I can't charge in to help these guys. So and the next best thing is to kill this guy. And overrun and into the Try for the, the eight bunker. inch overrun into the bunker. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so they're going to do that. And, that's, and of course, the boars over here are going to charge right. the tomb scorpion, which they did there. And I did make this charge. Unit of Wolf Riders come forward to uh, provide chaff next turn. The second unit of Wolf Riders with two left go dashing through the ruins to uh, chaff the shop. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, you can see the ferals have turned around to face the <laughs> oncoming so, horde. So now we have the dance. Correct. And I'm making sure I'm, I'm keeping them in my front arc, but giving them the most. 
uh, angle so that he has to put as many as possible into the ruins. So, um, got that. And there we've got the other side. So, uh, ensuing combat, he crushes my unit of boar boys with the, I'm sorry, the trolls and the general. Ouch. And I the, look at what the general did this time, though. The general puts a hurting on this unit. Yeah. Knocks them all the way down to two wounds left on one model. But on this round, he, st he beat me. <laughs> and overruns into the into flank, the flank of, of the, those guys. Um, the uh, boar boys. Is this before the fight? It was after the fight, which okay. saved him. Because then the BSB could hammer this last one and I can mm -hmm. put the wounds on him and crumble them. So, anyway. So, I'm sorry, you, you beat the architect and what just didn't go very far? No, I'm, well, I'm, you know, now that I think about it, maybe that's before. This must have happened before. Mm -hmm. You must have done this one first. First, okay. And smashed into me and then, yes, this is the additional okay. attacks. The, the BSB attacked the snakes as well. Okay. And the guys killed the architect. Right. I think my mage killed the architect because he's got a wound on right, him. Right, which stopped which you from pursuing into the bunker. Um, which prevented me. That's a good point. Right. That must have been what happened. Okay. Um, so yeah, and there's dead guys up here. And you couldn't turn to face, or you didn't want to. I think I failed my check okay. and couldn't turn to face. Nope, I did. Look at that. Yep. Boom, turn to face. Um, and... Over here, the boar boys take two wounds, but they clear the scorpion. Okay. Up here on the top. Yep. Um, and this unit's still facing the opposite direction. So, back to... Should be back to his turn. Yep. There's the overall. Going in his bottom of turn four. Bottom of turn four, the chariots who have freed up pivot and head over this way. Yep. Because I've got a scoring unit on the objective. Yep. And he's he's, he's going to end that nonsense. And, and the skeleton's turned around and... Facing um, it also. The, the cataphracts elect not to charge me, but actually backed off a bit. Okay. The Shabtis with the bows charge, charge into the, the wolf, wolf riders. riders, but do so and still out of arc of this unit, I believe. Okay. So they didn't expose, didn't expose themselves and still managed to be able to charge. Me. So I missed it by that much. Yeah. Um, elsewhere, you can see the bunker has moved a bit forward mm -hmm. to get within range of other stuff. Um, and he tries healing. He had a terrible magic phase okay. on this one. And I made sure to try to stop everything right. I could going on to the, Cause the other units a lot let this one grow. <laughs> so instead he actually drops something yeah. here and this unit gets even bigger. So, uh, he's back up to his full six in yep. this unit. Yep. Um, but anyway, so we clear off this unit after I kill it, I pivot cause it's my turns coming up. I pivot enough so that I can see both this unit and this unit. Mm-hmm. Not sure why when I know I'm going to this one. Mm -hmm. um, so we have that. And of course the bow shop D cleared off my uh, two wolf riders and was able to reform on his turn. So now we go into my turn five. Turn five, the boar boys are going to go yep. into there. The uh, three boar boys decide that they're they're in a tough spot without a musician mm -hmm. so they decide to charge into the unit of skeletons which puts me a little bit further away from this okay. unit of chariots on the hill mm -hmm. um, so i'm hoping his chariots on the hill are going to get distracted with what's going on here and come back and try to help okay uh wolf rider which will which of course will let the wolf riders dash 18 and block him if he does mm -hmm. um over here the uh ferals i think they just backed up a bit Nope. nope. They <laughs> failed their, uh, now that I think about it, they failed their animosity. I'm sorry, okay. not animosity. They failed their um, frenzy mm -hmm. and had to charge. Lost a couple in the ruins okay. going at them. And the boy, there's the board boys making it in there and the board boys back there make it in. Uh, spell wise, I managed to get off <laughs> a totemic summons to keep them off the back of my board boys for yep. at least a turn. Mm hmm. And there you go. Look at that. I'm not sure what the one is there for. I think that was just marking how far out he could have gone. Oof. So the boar boys smash into this unit and just crush it. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. 
Uh, there's two wounds. There's one wound on each character as well. Mm. That's what these are. There's okay. three characters left. He's actually facing in this direction out towards the bow shop. Okay. Um, and all the damage and combat res. Mm. I cleared the unit and put one wound on each character. Okay. Um, which is really good. Over here, um, didn't work out so well <laughs> with the ferals. Oof. He caught, he beat me, ran me down, and didn't even have to go very far to do it. Yeah, lost a couple snakes. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, back on his turn, I, and I did lose one over here, but won the combat uh, against the uh, skeletons. On his turn, he declares the charge with the, I, I think I breathed on the chariots, because I think there was four. Anyway. Was there? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, uh, one way or another, the chariots charged me. I reformed into con kind of a conga line. This way I can get two from the front and two from the back end of this. Because he's faced me with his flank. So it's hard to get more than two. This way it gives me two and in the back. And it's three individual characters. And it's three individual characters. So... Don't know. So, so, so it doesn't really help. <laughs> I can only fight one of them anyway. Well, you want the maximized combat res. Yeah. So, I for the crumble. so based on that, I should have stayed in line formation mm -hmm. instead of going to this because it would have given me plus one for the flank yeah a rank in the flank as opposed to what i did oh there he is we overran it did actually did go a little bit okay um so anyway so i reformed it there so it's back to his turn um kill some skeletons this fight goes on he kills another one eh, he yep. killed one before yeah so he's down to kill some skeletons mm -hmm. the chariots kill the, the um Does that make sense? Make summons but there's still two left there oh Two left, there was three. <laughs> so. three. Oh, and he killed another one. Sorry. Mm -hmm. no, he's got he one managed left. to kill two. Um, so one limps forward. Mm -hmm. um, something shot. I think the bow's Bo shopty took a shot and killed one of these. Okay. This is on the bottom of his turn. Because everyone else was fighting, yeah. Yeah, so they did, couldn't do anything, so mm -hmm. they just shot them. Okay. Killed one. Uh, the boar boys cleaned up the last uh, characters and turned this direction. Right. Um, I think I did this fight. I th yeah, sorry. Who did this fight before he did the chariots? If I remember correctly. And so I turned around not knowing that these guys were going to make the pursue off the hill. Right. Which they did. Uh, so we go to turn six. Um, wolf riders come around to take shots at this because there's nothing else yeah. I can do to it at this point. Um, Except hope. Except hope they can kill it. And they did put a wound on it. Mm. Um, but it wouldn't have helped anyway because... Because the boar boys got killed. The boar them. boys got killed and ran down by the skeletons, which okay. put them within yeah. easy thing there. So, ended up being, with all the bloody carnage, ended up being a 10-10 game. Mm. Um, but he did get the objective because he had the... What are the cataphracts over on one and right. the, the other two units. So even had the... Boar units survived. There's two units to my one over there on that. Right, one. right. Yeah, both units were in this. So, um, so yeah, it was, but it was a fun game with a couple back and forths, which is like, you know, oh, I've got this made. No, no, I guess I don't. <laughs> I thought for sure the trolls could do it. So, uh, mistakes of the game. This is the two picture split. This is the right hand side of the screen. I didn't have all this in one picture. Yeah. So, this is what I was looking at in one round of combat. Again, I thought the spider. Could easily deal with the seven the spider and the boar boys could easily deal with the seven wounds remaining on this unit over here on the left so i did not buff anything over on this side yeah i thought this the trolls and the general again easily smash this unit maybe not get rid of it but i think really abuse it so i did not buff here i wasted both buffs on this unit yeah. And the unit ended up doing nothing. So had either of these buffs been on either of these other combats, where they probably should have been. Yeah. Anyway, it was just buffing the wrong unit. But I thought both these were mine and didn't need Well, them. I think there's a temptation because you think you have an advantage. They go, oh, I'll go help to something else. Right. But I, I believe in the old Star Trek adage, overwhelm and devastate. <laughs> that's the Trek way to keep power and, yes that's many What's <laughs> keep, that? that's the way to keep power take power and keep it yeah because so, this fight doesn't matter it doesn't really matter that much. the fight didn't matter I was just hoping to do damage right, right. knowing that after this fight 
with everything else happening, I thought he would be too yeah. st- stressed to help this unit. But arguably, if you won game. that chariot fight, the game was won. Correct. And I thought, and yeah. like I said, I thought between my round I charged and the following yeah, yeah. round. That's a right, reasonable assumption. I thought that chariot unit was going to be gone. Yeah. Um, I thought completely wrong. It wasn't. Yeah. And I should have buffed it. Again, knowing that the game is won if I weep this chariot unit, that's where those buffs should have been. That, that's my philosophy. Of course, I, knowing that that com- I, one combat, I always wins. managed to get the great bad die roll at the Correct. critical time. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> so, but anyway, so that, mm. like I said, as far as mistakes, critical mistake there, um, no doubt in my mind. Um, and the other mistake here, well, what could have possibly been a mistake? I'm not sure. The other possible difference I had was the BSB knowing my proclivity to charging. Yes. The BSB could, could have, have come out fight. and helped yeah. this fight and let this unit just move forward, you know, or this unit reposition itself to help next turn. Because um, I think with the BSB in this fight, it adds a charge, whatever the BSB does, which is actually really good against this unit. Anyway, that's the other possible mistake in this one. Yeah. But the biggest mistake, of course, was the previous turn where I chose did not buff this unit. Yeah, this was, I mean... This was some risk. But I also think with having the general, if the general holds in this combat, then I think that's different for the next one, which were, he did. Where were your buffs in this case? Did you stop them? I don't remember. They were on the units over on the right, with their, which are gone now. Oh, so On so, my oh, turn, this is on right. my top of my turn, the two right. buffs were sitting here. So, but what did you, but what did you try to do after this, in this magic phase? On this magic phase, I tried to buff okay. this unit as best I could, and, but and he it didn't it matter. Or didn't, do, didn't yeah. do enough. Okay, it didn't do enough because mm-hmm. the only this is the only thing I had to buff in this turn. Yeah. Um, and again, have, having survived his charge, I elected to go here instead. Right. Instead of throwing because on the round where he I think has the bigger advantage, the round he charges, I held. Mm-hmm. So I counted on that, and this was another swing because again I didn't think. I thought on the round he charged me, he was going to blow through me. But he ended up doing it on the second round of combat, not the first. So in other words, one of those games where I charge, it's like, oh, look, right. that looks great. Yeah, and he yeah. counter charges me, and I'm like, oh, this looks terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks great again. I'm held. Oh, look, it's terrible because he overkills him and overruns. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just that back and forth in this game was made this a really fun game. Yeah. Um, yeah. But again, I, I still think the BSB coming into this into this unit whether it's flank or front, I'm not sure. I think the BSB might be in the flank because um, he's on this left end. Hard to uh, tell, but yeah. But the BSB coming into this flank. Well, the flank would have been really good. <laughs> or even the front brings a charge yeah. BSB's damage and his banner. Unless he's got the champions in there. Unless he gets killed. <laughs> well, he definitely has a champion because mm-hmm. he raised one. But I still have the general and the... the uh, yeah. The BSB, so he can only ch- I can only he can only get rid of one of them. Yeah, but you probably would send the BSB because the general so much more killy, right? I would definitely if he challenges, I definitely send yeah. the BSB into the challenge. Yeah, because that also pulls um, mm. pulls helps, attacks off the general. Right, it helps with res, but it doesn't necessarily help you with the the uh, fight. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway. Anyway, but yeah. But the big, like I said, of course, the biggest mistake was this one is again. Since this combat wins the wins the game for mm-hmm. me, that's where the buff should have been. Simple as that. Of course, you also don't know about. Uh, I mean, maybe you do know. Is, is the spell choices may have been different. Um, yeah, correct. But I think, but yeah. get, me getting two buffs off is different. I mean, that means I got almost everything I cast. Or you just let them go because they didn't care. Well, I probably had a third spell. That's because I don't see a totemic summons anywhere. Yay. Probably save dice to make yeah. sure that it didn't come back. It could be. Yeah, it could be that he would have concentrated. Because magic is, I always, I always see the people talk, or hear people talk, and it's like, oh, I got this spell, it's going to make this unit really good, and it's right. always about, oh, you're going to get this magic off, and it's like, you know, you can't count on that right. working the way you're hoping. Agreed, it's but I have yeah. three spells that would have really helped this sure, combat, sure, and sure. one and of unlike, them should get through. And it's unlikely he's going to kill, stop all of them, yeah. Correct. I mean, he could. He should be able to shut down at least one, maybe mm. two, and then the third. Depending on how big goes. the dice turn it was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but 
Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think that's ideally that's the way it works. But, I think that was the one the buff. But it definitely was. I mean, in anything here, plus one toughness, anything mm -hmm. on this combat, you know, definitely helps. But it wasn't to be. Yeah. Uh, and then he had some bad luck too. Yeah, and he had a. Like I said, the round he charged me in the flank, he had some bad luck. Yeah. Because he should have been able to smash me worse than he should. Yeah. Uh, Spider, of course, was mm -hmm. terrible for me. <laughs> yeah. That, um, that turn when you charge, counter charge, and yeah. coming up one inch short on a couple of the charge there. and yeah. Overrun over here onto the yeah. bow shop, he would have been nice. Um, but Because if you get to kill those guys and you'd, you'd be you know, around it to the back other another way so yeah well yeah anyway i kill these guys and then i have to turn and face this unit because this unit keeps me pinned um well instead of well in instead of point. chaffing the uh, right. shop oh, you're right. chaffing Chaff them no. so yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, well that's a dangerous because it's the way he is in here in the ruins it is means if i go try to chaff him a well, single 18, loss and i lose my chaff 18 and go on the other way <laughs> yeah, it's a long way around yeah anyway but well that's the uh Mm -hmm. That's the other, like I said, again, this, the BSP end of this combat was probably, again, probably yeah. the best bet. Because if I do lose this, I've lost the game. Yeah. If I lose the trolls and the general here, yeah, I've lost the game as well. So again, it's not focusing on the combat that's going to, right. that means the most, mm -hmm. I think, is the problem. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for listening. Till next time.